Hey there, YouTube. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Jay's Beer Reviews. So today I got a really special beer. Um, it's actually a beer from uh, kind of the area I grew up at. Uh, they just got a craft brewery there. Uh, it's over in Schiller Park, Illinois. It's it's kind of where my high school and all that stuff was. My wife went to their brewery. She said that she had an okay time. Um, but her and her friend went and... Um, I told her, I'm like, well, you know, if you're going, you got to bring me a beer back, either a six-pack or, you know, a crowler or something. So um, she did bring me back a crowler so that I could try it for you guys. And, I, I mean, I feel really triumphant holding this, like, huge can of beer. I got this beer here from Short Fuse over in Schiller Park, Illinois. Uh, and I'm going to pour it and give you guys a taste. Um, you know, of course, I always go through my first impressions of my style. Um, so the beer, if you notice, um, there's a spot for it to be written on the can, uh, and this can is completely blank. It has no information on it other than just their, the brewery's name uh, and their address, Twitter's, you know, social media stuff. So, I mean, if, if, if someone had just given me this can, I don't even know what I'm drinking. Um, so I, I don't, don't really like that a whole lot. You know, I, honestly, my wife said that, you know, like I said, she, she didn't have a great time. I'm, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. The brewery has not even been open for a year. I mean, I'm not even sure how many months it's been open for. Um, but it's a very, very new place. And, of course, you, whenever you have a new brewery that opens, it always takes a little while to get the kinks worked out. So I, I'm personally going to look forward to going there my, my, on my own and seeing how they do. But so she, she grabbed me this beer, and she said it was uh, whatever, some kind of rye beer that they make. So I went to their website, which, by the way, website looks really, really nice. Um, doesn't look to have like a whole lot of information. Um, there's there's good information about the beer specifically. So if I'd been given like a six pack or you know the, the, this crowler, I could at least go there and find out what, what I'm drinking. Um, but there's not a whole lot of information about the brewery other than like it's a 30 barrel system. Um, so I. There's just, there's just not a whole lot of information. I'd, I'd kind of like to see a little bit more in there. But this, uh, the beer that my, my wife got me is called their Rye Bob American Style Rye Beer. And so, of course, when, when I think of an American Style Rye, I think like the category is American Wheat Slash Rye. So your American Wheat is just like a regular wheat beer. Your American Rye is just like a, it's like a wheat beer, but instead of making it with wheat, they make it with rye. So that's, that's what I have in my mind when I think of what an American rye beer is. Uh, I know a lot of people look to like thinking about it like it's a, uh, a, a, like a, an American IPA with rye in it, like a rye PA. Um, that became very popular recently. But when I think like American style rye, it should be very light, very easy drinking, very easy on the hops. It's all just like a little bit of crackery, bready character. And so, of course, just in preparation for the video, I went to the BJCP style guidelines, and I'll pull it up right here. In the 2015 style guidelines, they actually removed American rye. So in the 2008, it was American wheat slash rye. That was the same category. It's basically the same beer. And so it, it looks like what they did is they, they got rid of it. Um, and now an American rye beer is in the alternative fermentables category. Um, and so, of course, the category, because it's like a catch-all for things that aren't made with, like, traditional grains, because it's a catch-all, it's kind of a... It's not a great category. It's, it's just not good. Um, you're just even, I'll just read you guys the first line. It says, an alternative fermentables beer is a standard beer with additional or non-standard brewing grains. Example, rye, oats, buckwheat, spelt, millet, sorghum, rice, etc. So those things are added or they're used exclusively. So if you have a regular IPA and you put 1% rye in it, technically you can enter it as an alternative grain beer. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And then their commercial examples for alternative grains are Greens India Pale Ale, Lakefront New Grist, New Planet Pale Ale. And those are all gluten-free beers. Rather than saying alternative grain beer, it's probably a better idea to name that category gluten-free beer because all of the really good examples are simply gluten-free. I disagree with the BJCP style guidelines most recent 
categorization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just backtrack. I'm going to go to their 2008 style guidelines so at least you can get an idea of what American rye beers would be. In the aroma, it's, it's a low to moderate grainy wheat or rye character. Obviously, in this case, it should be rye. So some malty sweetness acceptable. Esters can be moderate to none. It should be like American yeasts. Um, Again, clove and uh, banana, like what you would get from a German Hefeweizen, those are non-existent in this beer. That is not the right beer. But it's, it's a similar style, you just don't get those yeast characters. For appearance, it's pale yellow to gold, so it's, it's a very like, light-colored beer. Um, it should have a really big head on it because, again, it's like the, the wheat that they would use, or in this case, the rye. Um, it's got a lot more of those like, proteins in it that cause the big head. Flavor-wise, it's low to moderately strong, grainy wheat or rye flavor um, can linger in the finish rye versions are richer and spicier than wheat so because this is a american rye beer this is an american rye beer um, it should have a, a rich spicy character supposed to finish dry low to moderate hot bitterness so it says here the use of like american uh, citrusy, or it could be spicy floral noble hops that they use. The mouthfeel is, is medium light to medium, um, medium high to high carbonation, and then it should have a light alcohol warmth for stronger examples. Uh, and strong for them would be like 5.5%. Um, overall impression says that it's a refreshing wheat or rye beer. Uh, that can display more hop character and less yeast character than their German cousins. So I would like to note that it does say it can display more hops. doesn't have to. It's not an IPA. It's a light, easy-drinking beer that's somewhat hoppy, mostly grainy. Okay, and then um, for their classic examples, uh, Bell's Oberon is there, Harpoon, UFO, Hefeweizen, uh, Three Floyds Gumball, Pyramid, Hefeweizen, Widmer, Hefeweizen, Sierra Nevada, Unfiltered Wheat Beer, uh, Anchor Summer, Red Hook, Sun Rye, and Real Ale, Full Moon, Pale Rye. So of those, I've, I've not had any of those rye ones. Um, I've had good rye beers, but I haven't had any of those ones. That is the, the style rundown. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Tune in for my next episode where I will be pouring the beer and sampling it um, and giving you guys my tasting notes. So tune in for that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for joining Jay's Beer Reviews.